Hi everyone, we're going to take a look at the new product creation tool today. We'll be creating a tour product, but the same sort of things apply for the likes of fundraising, sponsorship and other products. Firstly, you'll be asked which type of these best describes your product. Obviously in this instance we will be selecting that that is a tour. You will then click through to the next option and be asked whether your product has different pricing structures. In this option we're going to say that it doesn't because there is only one option and that is the option of paying for your tour. However, in some other product instances, you may have different variants or different variables of that particular product under one roof. You will then be asked whether there is more than one way for a member to pay for your product. In this option, we're going to say yes, as we're going to give our members the ability to pay in a one-off fee and also in monthly installments. You will then be asked what your product is called. In this instance, we're going to pop in the name France Trip, and then we will name our first payment option as well, which in this instance is the one-off payment. You'll then be asked whether this option is for an individual or for a family. In this case, we're going to make this product for an individual. However, you can create products that cover more than one member. But for this tour product, this will just be for one individual member. Obviously, as we have called this payment option one off, we will then select the one off payment option here and we will pop in a total cost for this option. You'll then be taken through to a page that will ask you how else your members can pay for your product. This will allow you to add in another option here, which is the button we're going to click. And then we will give this payment option a name. This will be the monthly installments option. Again, you'll be asked whether this is for an individual or a family. As this is the same product, we will click individual again. But this time we will select that we would like our members to pay in installments. We will then be asked how often we'd like these installments to come out. This instance is monthly, however you can choose for them to come out weekly or on a custom cycle. And then we will enter the total cost of these installments, which is still £120. But this time we will be asked to put in a breakdown of those payments. For this we will say £10 a month for 12 months. Clicking next we will be asked when we would like this first payment to be taken. You can specify a date if that's in the future, which will allow your members to go in and pop in their details prior to the payment being taken. Or you can select on the date purchased which is what we're going to select here. You will then be asked how you would like your members to pay. If you have multiple different payment providers set up, they will all be displayed here. However, we only have Stripe set up, which is credit and debit card payments. So we'll be selecting that option and advancing to the next step. You'll be asked to add in a bit of a description about your product. Obviously, this is quite key for your members to understand exactly what it is that they're purchasing. Also, you'll be given the opportunity to add a product image. This can be useful for various different products. On this instance, though, we're just going to skip this step. And the last step is to say what the availability of this product is. Is it that all members can purchase? Is it that only assigned members can purchase? Or is this product still currently unavailable to purchase? In this instance, we're going to select that all members can purchase. And then we will be given the opportunity to review this product before clicking the Create My Product button. And then that is that product created.